Well, my name is Avery and I'm 13 years old. I'm from Houston, Texas. And my name is Matt. We were here just to clean a marker that was uh, in pretty bad shape and kind of just beautify the, uh, the area and kind of help people understand the history of it. This is an interesting activity that I just kind of fell into that, that give, gives our family not only a, a purpose in the community, but also gives us something to do rather than, uh, you know, watch TV. We did our first marker about two years ago, I think it was. I went to the website, the Texas Historical Commission website, and uh, on there is, um, is a video by Bob Brinkman on how to do it, and I, I watched it, and, and I'm like, well, that's super easy. And so I just went over to Home Depot, got a few things. I mean, I had most of the things in the garage already, you know, wire brush, towels, and things like that, painter's tape, and just went and got some spray paint and a few other things, and that was it. Stuck it in my old high school backpack, and that's now the marker backpack, so. Yeah. Okay, so the one that we're doing right now, which is in San Felipe, Texas, Stephen F. Austin brought the 300 settlers to settle in Texas, and some of them may be in the cemetery, but some of them are moved. So the steps are pretty simple. So first you make sure you have everything that you need, obviously. Uh, you will steel wire brush down the entire marker, left to right, try to keep it in line. Uh, then you'll clean it with soapy water. I use simple green because it's biodegradable. Uh, wash it off, let it dry, and then you will tape around the edges. Uh, the Mostly the silver edges. Yeah, the silver yeah. edges, make sure the silver edges are covered. Uh, on ones like the one we're doing today, there might be a wall or a backing that it's mounted to. At that point, you would kind of need to have some cardboard to kind of cover the sides and so you don't spray paint the wall. And then you do two coats of high temperature black spray paint. And then after that, you will sand down each of the raised letters, all the raised letters. I have a little converter um, a plug converter in my car so that I can just turn my car on, plug it in, and, and, and use the sander. So I would say having something like that would be, would be helpful. And then you'll get your paint thinner and slowly and carefully clean off the medallion and the title area of the marker. And then once you're done with that, then you do two coats of clear lacquer and then let it dry a little bit and then take off the paint and voila, you're done. My favorite marker that I probably refinished is the one at the Lock Raft, which is a bar, and it just looked really illegible to read, so we just redid that one. I've learned a lot of history about my town and about other places, and I've just mostly, I've been giving back to my community as a citizen. The, the reason why restoring them is such an important thing, I think, just, I mean, just for me in, in particular is, uh, it, it's, it lasts. There's a lot of things in, in it, where we go, where we walk around that just don't last. Um, history lasts. Uh, I mean, we're here in a cemetery. The, these, these, uh, these headstones will be here for 100, 200, 300 years from now, uh, showing you know, who these people were. And a lot of times, the areas that, that we just drive past, we don't really know much about, we're like, oh, that's a cool looking house. And if it has a marker on it and it tells the story of it, um, it gives you a little bit more reverence for the place rather than um, just walking by an old house or, or an old uh, cemetery. It helps you understand the, the significance of the place where you're standing. So, I just go out and, and do something, you know? This is, this is about getting out and doing things. I and mean, it's, not, it's not hard, it's not difficult, and it helps a lot.